Welcome to my crib. Tyga has lived in more than one high-profile mansion over his years as a famous rapper. Most recently though, the spot he calls home is a mega mansion in Bel Air, which he allegedly pays 58 k per month to rent. We'll take a look at it in just a bit. I don't think Tyga would be caught living anywhere less than lavish. You can tell just by looking at his real estate history. The man has moved from a multi-million dollar crib in Calabasas to his fancy sunset strip pad and more. Michael Ray Stevenson, who we much better know as Tyga, which stands for Thank You God Always If You Didn't Know, is a rapper, singer, father and more. At the time of this recording, he's 30 years old and despite his highly publicized relationships with Black China and even more so Kylie Jenner, right now Tyga is flying solo. As far as I know anyways. Does he have a chick? You guys can fill me in in the comments. His major label debut was in 2011, back when he was signed with Young Money Entertainment. Tyga had so many hits and his career took off. Unfortunately, when he left Young Money after some disagreements, his fourth album was released independently and didn't do so hot. After a few years off the radar, Tyga made a comeback in 2018 with the song Taste featuring Offset. These days, most of the songs he releases become hits, but even during the rapper's little hiatus, he didn't have a problem keeping up with his luxury lifestyle. Sources say that Tyga's net worth is estimated at around 3 mil. You serious? So you might be thinking that's gotta be wrong. He's so famous and such a popular artist, how is he not worth more? Well, the reports could be wrong with their guests, but on the other hand, it could be true. Despite Tyga's taste for the finer things, it seems like he has a tendency to rent his homes instead of purchase. Maybe that has something to do with it. You guys can be the judge after watching. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna take a look at the new Bel Air mansion Tyga's been renting out for 58 k per month and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Kanye West and Chris Brown, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. So sometimes I like to show the home where the star of the video grew up in as a kid before we see their current house. In Tyga's case, I don't know what his childhood home looks like, however he claims he was born and raised in Compton, California most of his early years until moving to the suburb Gardena. And as you know, Compton gets a bad rap, even in movies we see it as a super violent place. Apparently it has one of the highest crime rates in the US. But in other news, Tyga exposed on MTV when he was 14 that he actually grew up as a rich kid who had it easy and his parents drove a Range Rover. So there's that. Grew up, not too tough. Parents got a Range Rover, CL600, doing the big. Mm. If the latter is true, then Tyga was already used to living a bit more fancier than your average. Back in 2012, online reports said that Tyga purchased a mansion in Calabasas, California. Not much else was said, so it's possible that he was renting it too. Calabasas is a celeb filled neighborhood in the hills, so I'm sure he was surrounded by plenty of A listers. You know you made it when. Tyga paid $6.5 million for this mansion, or if he was renting, that's how much it was on the market for. These days the home is taken, but if it was for sale, it has increased a few mil. His old house sits on just under an acre of land and is 9,279 square feet of living space with 7 beds and 8 baths. Tyga had all the privacy he could want considering it was in a double gated and prestigious community called The Estates. When you first walk in, you're greeted with a 30 foot high ceilings and a formal entryway. Of course, there's a winding staircase too. Other features of this mansion included a home movie theater, a gym as well as a pool, spa, waterfall and tennis courts outside. Even a putting green. I'm not sure when Tyga decided to move on from this Calabasas mansion, but in 2015 he did show MTV a tour of his crib. And if this wasn't the same place, this must have been his upgrade right after it. So that's the master bedroom right here. And it's, it's crazy. So my master bedroom is like a small apartment for somebody, you know what I mean? You know, we got like the gold sheets, the last king pillows, chandeliers, 100 inch flat screen. That's crazy. Hey, 
Hell no! That's one massive master bedroom, that's for sure. Looking at this place compared to the pics, it does look like it could be the same mansion. But Taiga also says on this little tour that this house is like 17,000 square feet. So either he's lying a little bit or it's a different home. Do you guys know? Fast forward to the end of 2015 and Taiga decided to switch things up and move into a spot in the Hollywood Hills, right above Sunset Strip. In this area, he would be right in the action. Don't forget, he was on and off again with Miss Kylie around this time. Ancient history, I know, but he was also next door to her. This mansion in the Hollywood Hills reportedly cost the rapper over 46 k per month to rent, and it was worth around $5 million. Tyga's Sunset Strip mansion was 12,800 square feet of living space with 6 bedrooms and 4.5 baths. The style was contemporary and had a lot of glass and stainless steel in the design. The outside of this mansion was also really modern and unique, including the statue of Predator guarding the front doors. According to the listing, this place was fully renovated and was equipped with all the features. Inside there was plenty of living spaces to choose from, a gourmet kitchen, a dining room, and office. There was also a full bar, a wine cellar, a home gym, and a rooftop jacuzzi. Tyga's master suite in this place was pretty exciting too. Not only did it have two walk-in closets designed to be his and hers, it had an additional shoe closet too. It was even more exciting thanks to the master bath, which had a steam room, infinity bathtub with jets, and a balcony. Moving to the outside of the property, the grounds included a gorgeous pool and a spa with a waterfall. The place looked pretty trendy and more than enough for Tyga to show off. But if you think 46 k a month is steep, wait till you hear about the rent for his current mansion. Tiger really outdid himself this time. A few months back, the rapper decided to lease a new hillside mansion in Bel Air, California. This house sits in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains and offers amazing views of them from the property. Bel Air is well known for being fancy and high profile, so you need to be a multimillionaire if you want to live here. And it's a popular neighborhood for celebrities. This specific mansion is worth around 12.88 mil. Records show that Taiga is paying a huge 58k per month to call this place home. But he did sign a multi-million dollar deal with Columbia Records recently, so I guess it's not an issue. Tyga's Bel Air mansion sits on two acres of land and it was built just last year. The home spans a massive 14,586 square feet, which is spread across three floors. There are six beds and eight baths. His master suite in this place is fit for a king. It has dual bathrooms and even a huge lounge with sloping ceilings. Of course, he also has a huge wardrobe area and closet where he can put all his clothes and designer kit collection on display. There are high ceilings throughout the home, some even up to 18 feet, giving the mansion an open and expansive feel. There are also a ton of windows and French doors so you can take full advantage of the natural light and gorgeous views. Tyga has a living room with a wall of built-ins and an open concept kitchen with a marble backsplash. He showed off his house on his Instagram around Christmas time and how he decorated with a giant tree decked out in his favorite color, red. And that's not the only red at his new place. Of course, the mansion has plenty of space outside for his collection of red luxury cars. We've seen his Mercedes G-Wagon, Rolls Royce, Bugatti, and more parked up at his new home. Also outside in the giant property, there's more, which we can see from the aerial views. Tyga has a 1200 square foot guest house, as well as a huge 70 foot swimming pool. I think the pool's gotta be my favorite feature of the new mansion, aside from all the windows and high ceilings, which I like too. What do you guys like best about Tyga's Bel Air Mega Mansion? So now we've taken a look at some of the mansions Tyga has lived in over the course of his successful rap career so far. I'm not gonna say owned because we know he's leased a lot or all of them. But maybe he just hasn't found the one yet. And this way he can hop between lavish homes much easier. Who knows? Either way, the man has lived in some nice places. From his enormous Calabasas crib near the start of his fame to his modern Sunset Strip mansion and his current Bel Air place, Tyga really does have good taste. I know that way back Tyga got some shade from landlords like in 2011 when he rented a Malibu home and left without finishing some $16,000 rent payments. Not to mention some damage to the place like installing a stripper pole in the bedroom. But hey, Tyga was basically a kid back then so I think it's safe to say he's matured and gotten richer since then. 
I doubt his current landlord will have to go after him for a $58,000 rent payment. It might be hella expensive, but the dude can afford it. Anyways, which one of Tyga's places did you guys like best? I personally like his current place and it looks super fresh and classy, but his sunset strip house was cool and modern too. So first off, I love hearing from you guys and now I'll read out some of your comments on our previous videos. On our Kanye West house tour, Sergio Donis said, So cool to see his bachelor pad. Would have never seen it if it wasn't for this video. Sorry, ye. I love the Kardashians though. Cute hoodie, I love army print. Thanks Sergio, I'm glad you liked my hoodie. And same here, I hadn't seen Kanye's place before he got with Kim. Somehow I think it suits his style though from seeing those pics. On the same vid, Mother's Lobe commented saying, Thanks for sharing, a lot of work put into this vid. Nice digs. Thank you, it does take a lot of research so when you guys say it, sometimes I get stuff wrong, it happens. And finally, on our recent Amber Rose house tour, Tay Sonic wrote, Kara, you're so dang pretty. Love the vids I get to live vicariously through these rich mofos. Thanks so much, Tay, and me too. Whenever I write these, I always love seeing all of the dream homes. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Tyga's real estate and his latest multi-million dollar mansion in Bel Air. Did you guys like his place? Or which one was your fave out of the three that we saw? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!